Today is October the 31st, 2019, and basically this is what they have done. Pretty much what mechanic told me the situation is, okay, so that's that. But, you know, other than that, oh, this car does not have problems underneath. This is a decent car. October the 31st, 2019, and you can see the time here right now. I am at the gas station here in Lodz, not too far from the clerk's store. And what I noticed was when I came out, and this is something they were they played the first night when I purchased the car, they changed, they played with the gear shift. In other words, it works like this. You can just go like this, and you can turn one around either way you want, and so on and so forth. Now, it was still, despite all that, it was still okay, it was shifting. Now, when I came out of this tour, actually before I even got to this tour, I could not shift, I could not use this uh, stick to actually shift gears. The thing is that they have even forgotten, and it must have happened at the clerk, they have even forgotten to properly, I should say entirely, um, screw the the screw i mean you can go with a hand like this and get one out literally i mean this is just unbelievable these are okay this one actually literally came out under mk ultra this is not a new thing on this car this is the old stuff they have demonstrated to me when you take this thing out you can actually see gears inside of this car now oh, the car is without the catalyzator they have taken the catalyzator away uh, the uh, catalytic converter uh, they took one before the sale took place i am going to tell you straight what uh, basically happened at leclerc just as they have promised they would do you know, what you see right there most likely is a transmission liquid uh, i was told they're gonna actually climb under the car and do something to the vehicle and i see that pretty much this is exactly the scenario that happened what i recall basically is that uh, i don't know how much americans are guilty for this stuff or not like i said there was all kinds of stuff but donald trump did have an individual that will be with us and they translated to me all the stuff how they're gonna do it how they're gonna get you in this part of the town through the catalytic converter you will be looking to repair for the catalytic converter and once you're gonna get here and you're gonna be there and this and that leclerc is just a big store here you want to take advantage of it it's a rational step you would go inside the leclerc there was nothing but coughing everywhere uh creating this movie helped me as well understand better uh, what exactly happened, who is to blame for it uh, this day for what happened and what exactly happened and how it all happened. The gentleman with whom I have eventually agreed to have catalytic converter installed in their car, something that should never be removed from the vehicle, it's actually illegal because it's the vehicle that came with a, cat a catalytic converter, catalyzator, uh, was deeply involved with Americans. This man was deeply involved with Americans. And other than that, they have other businesses, body shops where they had Americans. They, they would sell them American cars and stuff like this. Now, this whole case is handled by a few selected business people, uh, landowners who profited from the West. I explain more in the video. This whole case is handled by few employers that were pre-selected based on their involvement with the, with the West, with Americans in particular. They got all kinds of goodies, favors, and so on. Uh, I explain everything in very good detail about what went on. Uh, what exactly I dealt with and how, what exactly did Donald Trump anticipate that things would happen. So this park, this business place, this guy, this guy took a bribe. This guy took a bribe to do what he did. Now, this must have not be done at the clerk. It was just a brainwash 
It was done so efficient. It's the catalytic converter. This must have been, by the way, issue they have count on. I was, I tell you, a, a bunch of people at all the businesses, I can tell you what businesses were worth in 2015, maybe even 2013. Maybe even in 2013. Look, where I was that day, I can just go and I can tell you about which businesses exist in 2013. This guy here, I was at this guy here, at least in 2015. I was at this guy here, it's called Motos Ragoshevsky. This guy had, I was in another place called Gumex, just for the police record. Still did not fix the, the sidewalk. Still you have to go through the sidewalk to get to that shop. Quite unique to this place. Um, I have not seen anything like this. You have to drive on a sidewalk to actually enter the... the, the well, quite a decent size. Almost like Jeff Lube or something like this workshop. Funny as it gets. And then what happened was... Mm, kind of a funny because I did came during the work hours or maybe I did not I uh, let me see I did came during the work hours and he was busy playing at home with a child which seems to me like a good thing a good a good decision I proceeded to this location here so they were basically throwing me like a ball from one place to another I was here, uh, I was in another place first, then I was here, and then I came to this place here. And here is the Leclerc. So driving along the way, I saw that there is a Leclerc here, and I decided that on my way back, I will stop here. In fact, before I even came here, I went straight to the place where we were, what might have been in 2013 rather than 2015. This was the shop that was still open, a body shop. Uh, they would fix this kind of issues and they are located right here in this corner right here uh, next to Leclerc. Kind of amazing when I saw that, that I was surprised that this here was not this here. I was pretty damn sure that this is the place I have to go because I remember the route. So this was the place where I went. The thing, however, is that Probably since 2013, I would say, this thing actually is closed. I am sorry I have not taken any pictures, whatever, that you would see. It's quite big, it's quite decent. But unfortunately, I think this thing here is closed. Then I proceeded here to this location here. It's called Automark. And this is where you have, you can see here, more uh, bikes they sell. And there is body shops here in the center here. Uh, from this point and on, I did return back to, this is where they went under the car to look what kind of uh, converter, if the universal converter would fit on my car. What even raised more my suspicion was that what the gentleman offered me at the end of uh, the interview with him, uh, that he did not offer me at the beginning already his own catalytic converters that he's going to have for the same price I would order from the internet. That was kind of a surprising to me that he would rather for me to do something like this. Uh, anyways, I evaluated the car and I think when I brought the car uh, about this channel where mechanics inspect underneath the car, this, uh, uh, what the car is like, that's basically when they did unscrew it, the transmission liquid drainage screw. Uh, to the point that one would still stay inside, but it would start to bleed the transition liquid. So when I, transmission liquid, so when I proceeded to the Leclerc on my way back towards Gears, toward home, um, the only thing I got was some really strange stuff from the lady, from the sales lady at the front cashier, who was also involved in MK Ultra. Ah, they have involved again uh, all kinds of issues. It was coughing that went on. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. 
and uh, I became uh, it got my attention I didn't took that personally I was okay I, I don't care about it but but in the course of the day the, the way things moved the way I remember the scenario it really got on my nerve this coughing because of the stuff that you have partially already seen and then there was some other stuff that followed up and I have not even mentioned what I have gone through at the beginning of the day when I attempted to fix the issue with this catalytic converter that involved detour that did not mention anywhere ability for the local traffic to go by the police over there uh, and so on and so forth that could give you a ticket if you would proceed on the road which is otherwise like a two-way road like completely normal and I mean if you if you close the road if you make one-way traffic at least you put something that you it's allowed to go for the local traffic and not create detour that would take you another 10 kilometers to get around and stuff like that it's pretty pretty crazy pretty insane stuff now rather than risking and all this stuff i was gonna go about the detour and then i decided said to myself I continue here and cause me some more damage and everything than than what this catalytic converter is even worth and everything i said let's just buy this from the internet and get this from the shop and it's gonna be new uh, let's just get this mounted uh, on the vehicle. There is a little bit more about all this stuff. In Zgersh, uh, another individual before I even got there, still a mechanic, was involved in MK Ultra. And this individual had a problem here with the locals because of his neo Nazi views. Americans did attempted to disseminate the neo-nazism here in Zgersh and they did they divided the societies they split the society uh, to something unbelievable actually not to to a Polish society is extremely divided that's what they brought with them here to the Poland was a bunch of hatred uh, a bunch of neo-nazi issues this is what Donald Trump did. This is a really, really a Ku Klux Klan boss from the United States of America. A big neo-Nazi dirtbag is what this individual is. And he did just about everything possible to split Poland in half. That's why Angela Merkel does not see herself in him. But let me be honest with you, this individual took instructions straight from Angela Merkel on how to split, how to beat the crap out of this country how to create a crack, a hole, and then through that hole, basically just widen the hole to the point the whole country would collapse. And he started this right here in Zgersh. Uh, what was from beginning so beautiful, including just like myself, uh, it was all about the help. It eventually became to him, to him a burden. Eventually, people that have these Jewish features begun to bother Donald Trump. Uh, it was about something else. It was about a common interest, a common goal that Kaczynski have found with his partners from the West on uh, basically how they would make the two countries uh, more economically partnering friendly to one another through basically erasing borders through ethnic cleansing through the social engineering and this is why this society here was right here in Zgersh is so important for the Poland because it's just this society right here I believe it's going to determine the future of this country I also became a burden to Donald Trump for obvious reasons uh, what was the deal uh, the help the so-called help as I explained in continuation of the video turn into some completely different issues it was just really really time to get rid of me create a heavy duty abuse case along which the exit points would become more and more and more frequent what was at the beginning here and there some really bad stuff maybe some even without the knowledge of people and so on have turned through the brainwash through mk ultra wash brainwash have turned into a, like a frequent 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 wait for me to i don't know turn against the people turn against the poland turn against the people take away from them hope and so on that's a donald that's a real donald trump uh and so yeah because i am moving to another location you can no longer see anything 
but there were quite a few spots right there on the wall which was which were there because of my frying food uh, I fried food and as a responsible tenant I felt that I should just go ahead and I should have this wall here painted myself uh, with the same color and have those spots uh, entirely removed away and yes I did so I, I, I did once I was at the shop here at the last shop here uh, I returned to Leclerc in this store here unfortunately there was a lot of coughing going on and so I really was confused about the whole thing and the lady who was at the counter the sales lady is a long time employee this lady must have been there already in 2013 for sure yeah this was already 2013 with this car she eventually gestured me on how the AI yeah, should not buy the car they will destroy you with the car it was just a bunch of people they gestured this stuff I felt, however, that like everything in life, uh, you have to insist on the stuff basically that you have the right to insist. And one of the things is, of course, your own transportation, such as bicycle as well as a vehicle, as well as the car. So I said to myself, if they're going to do destroy me this thing, I will at least document one that in Poland, in fact, I'm not allowed to have not even a car, not even a vehicle. So she replied, uh, sarcastically sent me to the gas station right here where I would purchase myself a paint. Uh, that would be really a stupid thing to do. They probably might have one, but this was just a portion of this brainwash. Who the hell would want to go and buy a paint like this at the gas station when you probably would be, end up paying who knows how much more money than what you should. And have admit me that right here was actually uh, a shop with a paint. And that kind of angered me because I realized this just two minutes it was too late when I did realize when I went to the Android and I searched for the location the shop was right here. So from this point on what I did was I proceeded back to this location here basically from Leclerc. I was at the shop. I was a Leclerc. Then I proceeded back to this location here. You cannot see on the map here. This is a paint store right here that they did create this custom paint for me special paint i took a sample of this paint from the wall and i presented them this sample and they came to as close to as possible to this type of uh, color inside of this kitchen here and they did a good job they got me a paint and on my way as i was returning i realized that i am experiencing actually a real trouble with gear shifting because the car no longer would really shift smoothly in fact all of a sudden i would find myself rather than in second gear uh the car would just refuse and, and it would throw me into neutral and stuff like this and so i ended up at this gas station here orlan really nervous i fuel the car i i pumped the, the some gasoline inside of the car and then I completely reminded myself of a scenario because this here, this gas station here alone was involved in this stuff. There is a gentleman that would come later on. This is a whole story here that I can tell about this. Who would gesture me to just leave the car actually here? Uh, the, he showed me, he demonstrated me the spot here if i would zoom myself into this thing yeah you're not going to be able to see it but he knew about this spot here a mechanic from nearby who demonstrated me actually where i can take from where basically i can take myself uh, a bus right here he said right there across the street and then another one like he, like here something yeah as i was here he found he said to just park the car here leave the car here you will not have a problem but this here is like a heavily wooded area here i think that if i would leave the car here probably the car would be missing an engine and transmission and wheels and probably absolutely everything the whole thing would be like a total comedy i think i don't know if you can see this on the satellite if this thing can be seen oh it actually can be seen my car was parked like this here i went inside and they have called exactly the same gentleman that was involved in mk ultra mechanic this mechanic would come 
the people, both of the employees that were at this place that I have spoken last night, just to give you a proof that I know what I'm talking about, already are a super long time employees, were already employed at this station here already in 2013. That was the lady and the older gentleman. Unless they have used some kind of a ghost workers, but that is actually close to very much impossible. And the gentleman I have encountered yesterday worked in a vicinity, if not as they have suggested me first, that right here, that is here somewhere. Um, he actually gestured me that he came from the opposite side, but it doesn't matter. It was exactly this situation they have involved. He advised me, he knew exactly, he knew exactly what to say, what this and what that. This is the place right here. This is where the police is not going to have a problem. Rather than doing this, risking the chance of not even making it home because the car would not even shift anymore to first or second gear, I somehow proceeded despite the brainwash that I was taught, they did took me for a ride under MK Ultra, and the only thing they, they ride, 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 and then they stop. It was some kind of a hill, something like this, and the car would stop. And the only thing that's gonna happen is gonna be this, and then the whole transmission is gonna you can throw one away. It's finished, the car is finished, you're without the car, it this, that, I don't know what. The same thing like at a technical examination. This gentleman here, this mechanic too, this is where my car was parked, right here, suggested me that the damage in my car related to the gear, uh, to the transmission is more costly than the car itself. Uh, I don't know, he talked about like this time like 4,000 zloty, 3,000 zloty, I have no idea. Eventually the whole thing is recorded. If I did not even mention that, but if you've seen on my new site, I have explained that when I went to the technical, uh, the gentleman at the technical, whom also I was at, I was also in his shop. I can tell you this gentleman was there already in 2013 that he worked. The gentleman who inspected my car, uh, it's actually known as a telemark company, not too far from where I am right now. <laughs> I can tell you all about this stuff. This is not imagination. This is not a paranoia or anything like this. this. is a reality. Bloody reality is what it is. They have gone. They have played with the catalytic, uh, catalytic converter. The whole thing is a total setup. A total setup. Gestured me the car. Also audio recorded. The catalytic converter is 2,000 zloty. Basically worth it twice as much as the car and stuff like this. Take it to this one, give it away. This guy also, give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away. So this is basically what went on. Unfortunately, I connected the wrong dots. I connected the MK Ultra brainwash with Leclerc and the coughing inside of the store that really got on my nerve. Actually, it did really not bother me. But when I started to think about what goes on at this point in time, it started to get on my nerve because I felt that in Poland, I'm not even allowed to have a car. I'm not even allowed to have a bicycle first. And now I'm not even allowed to have a car there. Basically ripping me everything apart. I wasn't sure that this coughing, this is a pretty crazy stuff because you have a lot of people, a lot of issues involved. And for the most part, people don't even know what the hell goes on. So they do their part happily, but not actually even knowing what actually goes on. So that much about that. Now let's continue. Okay, from here I did proceed it. Uh, I got to tell you that I was a little bit, I'm going to say not in a, not in exactly best uh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, this is this is already so disturbing to me. This kind of stuff uh, that uh, you know, as a consequence, it, it, it just did not, it just really exceeded anything I possibly could expect. I would experience something like this. Uh, this was just really bad one. Uh, regarding the car, it's like this. This is like a net. 
of the businesses, not the people, landlords and businesses that are capable to do absolutely anything. It's the stuff they have contemplated on. The links between them exist. Actually, they are proven. I can give the audio recordings and stuff. Uh, and what the hell they are not capable, I actually do not even know what the hell these people would not be capable. If I would go tomorrow and find myself in a car without wheels and without basically nothing without the seats and without anything like this, I would actually not even be surprised. So whether they have replaced the transmission, something they have dreamed about doing under MK Ultra, and then they have orchestrated exactly to the MK Ultra scenario right here. Uh, it would sit me here inside of this place. This is a place, folks, that you have no idea. But this is a hellhole. You have no idea how much brainwash, bad brainwash went inside of this place. You have no idea what they have done to me inside of this place. I explain a little bit. And they would make like a, like a panicking kind of situation. And it always was the same thing in Grotniki. Whatever they would destroy me something, whatever they would do something. Uh, they would, the next day they would make like a panic, something like this, that, that would make me feel that I, you would already know that something bad happened. You just didn't know what was destroyed. So all you had to do is you had to go over your belongings and find stuff that was destroyed. Did the same thing here. The same kind of the same kind of psychology, the same kind of stuff used basically. They pretty much explained the same people ran <laughs> the whole thing. The salesman, the lady, I asked her about paint shop. Actually a color where I could buy myself a color to furnish the apartment with a new farb, a new color, whatever I have made a damage when I fried food. Uh, rather than to gesture me to go two minutes away to the store, she insisted I should go sarcastically, and it's all audio recorded, to the gas station. They have it at a gas station, they have it. They suggested me, do not buy this car, do not buy the car, they're going to destroy you, they're going to destroy you. Uh, it doesn't do any good to me the stuff like this, you could go and have a brand new car, they would destroy one too. It doesn't matter what kind of car. This is a crime. It's a real crime. It's a heavy crime to do the stuff like this to the people. Climb under the car, under the hood, and cause a damage like this to the people. This is not a joke. This is the real stuff. It's a serious stuff. First, they stole me a bicycle. They destroyed me bikes. Now, they don't allow me to have even a car. So, it wouldn't make no difference whether this car would be a new or not. When you do the stuff like this, you can do the same thing to the new car. So basically what Poland is saying to me is, I don't have the right to own the car in the Poland. Just like the case was with the bicycle. So I think this did go a little bit too far. And yeah, you know, they gestured me under MK Ultra. You're gonna drive a little bit like this, and then a little bit more, and then what's gonna happen? It's just going to stop and the car is not going to function anymore and you're going to stop ha 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 and it's going to come and they're going to tow your car away. Well, what you see right here, make no mistake, this is a transmission liquid right there. And the guy who sold me the car I actually have used this car for about at least since 2000 and 17, 100% ongoingly, meaning that he must have been using the car since 2015. Because in 2017, he alone demonstrated me the car, uh, told me about in which direction he goes at work and stuff like this. So I know about that kind of stuff too. It's a smart thing to actually do before I even play with this stuff. Is the smart, the, the proper thing to do is to actually record so you can see what this looks like because they were playing with this i'm not the first person they were playing with this car it, the same scenario might have happened already before to other people that's a, actually a really good question i have told you on that mk ultra they demonstrated me look at look look what this looks like look what this looks like it, it looks as if you would be stabbing this thing here it was it would look like it would be completely eaten Definitely does not look like a car with 145,000 miles. However, if you look at the wheel, it actually looks almost like new. Actually, this is a real 145,000. 
It's just they were playing with these issues. They, they started, they have used this car to destroy people actually. What they would do is they, 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 uh, they do a damage like this, they do damages to you. I was actually told I should actually video record the parts because they're going to be changing me even the parts on the vehicle. So what they do is they, they cause you so much damage, they eat you to the point that you actually take the car to the junkyard and once you take one to the junkyard almost for free you give one away, that's when they go and they grab one and they sell this to another victim again. So this is, this is a well developed system actually. So I want to record this stuff before I even start touching anything here because I do have to. Unfortunately, I do have to uh, look inside of the gear because I don't know what they have done, but you cannot shift properly and it actually could be dangerous. In a traffic like this, uh, right now as I'm returning back, it could be a real trouble. But I want you to see this. This is just a, a lot, a lot of holes. Look at this in, a, in, a, in this thing here. This does not happen because this would be like, a, uh, because this would be like, problem with the with this particular vehicle or something like this no this is just done somebody just poked this with a knife or whatever they were doing who knows what the hell they were doing but you can see this thing actually this is the way it is again today is october the 31st of 2019 november the 1st 2019 uh in two days from now i am gonna move to another location this is gonna be uh, yet the fourth location, yet the location where I am heading also was implicated in MK Ultra procedure. Um, you don't actually have a choice than continuing the pattern these people have designed. Uh, there is nothing you can do. You can go and you can look for the place, whatever it is that you want to do. All your efforts are really completely in vain for nothing here. They organize themselves like this. That the only thing you, you have left basically is walk the path uh, they designed for you. And it's nothing, absolutely nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do, let me explain, about someone that goes in a parking lot where you park the car and lets the transmission liquid out. Uh, just as nothing you can do when you, that's what happened yesterday, just as nothing you can do about someone going inside of a place and I was neighbor, I had a neighbor or uh, owner of this place, and let the gas out. Hopefully you have seen uh, what exactly I mean by that. Um, so when you return from work or whatever it is that you return, the only thing left you have basically, you get to smell this uh, entire night long entire day and entire night long now it's a little bit awkward it's a little bit awkward because up to date i have not used yet any kind of anything that i would hit this place not a coal not a wood anything like this it was a trap this place here was meant to break me destroy me completely ruin me completely uh, work wise to cripple uh, place location wise to financially destroy you demolute you completely and all this in parallel with the car issues and all kinds of stuff that goes on um, believe me when you shower in ice cold water and stuff like this is being done to you um yeah it's not pleasant when you try to save every dime uh and stuff like this on electricity literally i would not ever plug the boiler here this is how i got ahead of this people um presented to me under mk ultra is myself I have found myself oftentimes in MK Ultra asking um, the people who impersonated me what exactly they mean by me, I. I have found myself like this all the time asking them, or all the time I will be asking them, what do you mean, what do you mean by this I? 
I got this broken, I got that broken, something happened, whatever happened, let's say Chris got bill here for 150 zloty. It was number, it was like normal here to pay astronomical bills because they would use oven, they would use a boiler, the heater for the water to shower themselves and stuff like this. Stuff that I have avoid. Uh, yet, it's nothing you can do. It's like the locations where you go, they are pre-selected that nothing you can do. It doesn't, if you go around, ask about the place, you're not going to get one. They pre-selected, they questioned, they questioned entire town. They questioned, they went from house to house, to house to house, through this gear show I'm talking about. House to house, house to house, house to house, to see basically uh, who's going to offer what, who was willing to offer. And then what they would do is they would intimidate people, they would discourage them. If people would come forward and offer something like this, they would give them all kinds of stories about me, whatever, whatever stories they, they would come up with. Uh, and that way basically seal the fate uh, concerning your future. And at the same time that this would be the place where you would, the only place, the one and only place where you would actually get the proofs about MK Ultra. Sure, because this is where the torture was done. From 2002 uh, all the way to 2017, this here, this was the place where we would come. And we, we didn't go anymore to Zakopane or Novi Turk or something like that. This here was the place. Uh, this was the main place. We would go up to 2006. Mid-2006 was the last time we were actually in a Novi Turk uh, and in a Zakopane. But after, no, we did not go no more. Uh, actually, I was told that time that this is just going to be the last time that I'm going to be in Zakopane. And so I better make a note. And when I go back, I better start doing this. If I'm not going to do it, I'm never going to do it. Nobody expected actually that 13 years later, I would hit Zakopane the way I did. Nobody would expect that something like this is possible to happen, that I would go and demonstrate where my father designed the fishery, the fishing harvestry, the fishery that they have in Zakopane and stuff like this. Nobody expected, nobody expected the stuff like this. I think it was a horror when they saw the, the stuff that I came up with, that I actually demonstrated the knowledge, the memory about that place. And this is how it started to develop the further story about the Poland. This is how the Poland did. Poland did not want to admit what they did. It was the Zakopane and it was a Novi Turk. They realized that this thing will come out regardless of what they're going to do. But what followed up on me, ah, oh, this is a completely something else. This is a horror story that, that you witness now. So they would have, they would have people that would go from house to house and they would evaluate people and this and that. And psychologists who Trump have hired, American criminal, uh, this individual was the one who pre-selected locations for me based on the people's backgrounds. These people who would become my landlords were absolutely at some point in certain way they were involved in Americans. This landlord has got a daughter working in Britain. Um, where I'm going right now, used to live in Denmark. Have a Danish, half Danish kid. Um, previous locations where I was, they profited enormously through the corruption. Grotniki did, uh, Dambroska did. They all did. And Lodzka 58, I wonder about that issue. I wonder about that issue because the landlord is actually different. That one is actually related to the Russian issue. But today, in my case, concerning my case, the Russian and American issue, they're basically indifferent. They basically intersect at the same point of interest. And I don't really have to explain what that one is. Oh, 
I don't have to explain what that one is. Uh, we can see what is happening between the Trump and Putin. There is a lot of love right there. It's a flirt that goes on between the two, big one. Anybody can see what goes on. Uh, so this criminal, this American psychologist, what he would do is he tried to poison. He tried to poison other Americans involved in this. Uh, and he, unfortunately, I have to say he did. Uh, even Chris, who was like the closest to me, Chris and I had a very good relationship because Chris uh, saw himself in myself as a brother of mine. He could treat me in a way he did only by seeing myself as his brother, literally. You know, MK Ultra, you have to understand this is this is a procedure where you have to you have to clean after individual, you have to take care of individual, it's like a baby. When when you're subject to MK Ultra, you're like a baby. You don't actually you're deprived of everything, sensory issues of logic on general. You're like a baby. You you don't know when you know you're okay. You don't even tell when you have to go to the toilet. Basically, the staff members have to observe to see when you need to go to the toilet and they ask you if you need to use one and get the toilet fast before you do it in your pants. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. So when I say like a brother, this is actually a, quite a job that, that somebody has to do it. It's not just so easy. This is not just that you would go about and, and do the stuff. It's not like this. It actually requires work, uh, stuff like this that was done. It actually required a lot of work from patients. Uh, maybe the best word for this, tolerance maybe from MK Ultra staff members. You can get tired of a person like this, especially if he's a jerk like I was. I was a jerk big time. Not that I regret any of it. I do not. I actually feel that whoever is subjected to this type of treatment should do exactly what I did. It's actually commendable, the stuff I did. And it's more commendable today for me not to accept responsibility of any kind for whatever took place. For whatever took place, but not concerning for what is taking place. Because for whatever, whatever took place, there was nothing I was guilty of. This is what Varsha did. For what is taking place, however, we are all responsible. This is something we're all responsible. The longer this thing would go on, I'm going to repeat, the more crimes I would be guilty of. The one who did this crime was Poland against me and nobody else. It was the Poland which committed the worst crime possible. It was the Poland that deprived me of 25 years of life. I just want to clarify that. So somebody's not going to get mistaken uh, about absolutely anything. Now, the People that were hurt in the process, the scapegoats, the Warsawian scapegoats, however, and make no mistake, the lives were ruined, they were destroyed, are the people that deserve some kind of compensation. They do deserve understanding. They deserve their right in this matter. They absolutely do. And this is why I have committed myself to return them a trust in this country, which, however, is really going down the toilet. Because when I think about the stuff that goes on, um, you know, it goes as far as, I'm going to say, not only my being not allowed to use a bicycle. Uh, as you remember, they have stolen me a bike within like... Um, yeah, just think about what kind of location I was, how remote and what I had to do to come to commute to, to the nearest town and stuff like this. Um, destroy me another bicycle and now as you see it's coming to the issue of the vehicle that are completely insane. Um, I, I could, you know, if you didn't know, you can take a sugar 
and you can sip that in your gas tank and your car will stall or you can go and you can untwist the screw under the vehicle and the engine oil is going to go out and the car is going to stall it's going to end it's going to ruin the engine uh you can do what they have done to me yesterday and you can do the best part of all of this you can do this on a brand new cars because the police suggested that it's gonna have to be like i don't know a new car or something like this so uh it would be okay and so on uh, the new cars do not resolve the warranty for the issues that i have mentioned uh if the stuff like this happens uh, I don't know if they cover anything like this. So basically the message here is not only that it's actually way deeper than this. The message here is not only that I'm not allowed to use the vehicle, maybe just as bike in a remote area, a bicycle uh, about two hours and a half away from the nearest city. Uh, now when it crippled basically a car if this isn't bad enough uh it goes further actually on that mk archer they suggested and really yesterday the gentleman appeared that gestured actually that my transmission from the vehicle is completely destroyed is completely destroyed and so if i go back to the issue that the car was stolen here the very second day uh from the vehicle if i go to the issue that a transmission stick started to turn around twist around the very second day and so on yeah this android i'm recording is suggesting me that i have to stop here and then do the second part the android i purchased uh i will explain this in part two because because if i go to my impersonator chris let's say um, he also got, when ordering the Android from the eBay, something as I hold right now in my hands. In fact, even the wallpaper was the same one, and I did not check the messages from the seller as the one on the telephone I have. Uh, weirdly enough, the telephone would not come from Britain here for about, uh, I think, a month or something like this. Uh, and then when the telephone would come, the telephone, the charger, Android, I'm talking about a new one, this one, uh, blew the same minute that I plugged one inside the wall that was just do boom. And the second thing is the screen is doing like this, the line just goes all over and really nothing works on this telephone. And when it comes to... Um, all the programs the software android i don't know what it is this is seven eight i have no idea what it is uh it's done in a, such a beautiful way that really um you, you it's nothing really functional so exclu exclusively i'm using this telephone as a camera device but i see now in case you see those lines like i see it in case you do i have no idea whether you do or not uh i anticipate just like it happened to the Chris, this thing also would go out. Uh, Chris, in fact, was the nicest person probably involved in MK Ultra. Had a problem with this American psychologist who tried to turn him against me. Eventually, at one point in time, Chris had fallen for it too. Because the only thing that did not happen to me so far, all through, there are three days left. And it can still happen to me is a clothing outside that is attached the wire is attached to the fence uh, and it's according to MK Ultra they have cut him that wire and the clothing have fallen down in the mud because the wire where you would dry the clothing there are two wires right here in the front yard uh, where he would place the clothing to dry one, the only thing that would happen is uh, the neighbor would go and would that smarovao, he, he put a lots of grease from the car oil on it. So when he dried the clothing, it would be just as nasty as mine was when I did. So it became 
there was also clothing that was destroyed here and stuff like this. And the only thing they did is they would cool the Chris down his issues by just showing him, don't worry, this is happening to him, not to you. The type of psychology. And at one point, Chris eventually failed the exam. When he came from the work and he saw his clothing in the mud right here behind the house, it was raining, it was wet, and everything was that he washed, he didn't have a clothing he could use. It was inside of the mud. He made sure, he he got really really upset and he and he said just write it down, write it down, make sure this happens to him too. And then all of a sudden, no, no, you're not, no, don't say no, 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 no. So you see, um, even Chris have fallen for this stuff. Um, yeah, there were people interested in helping me out. Uh, not that Chris is guilty or anything like this. Chris, just like other people, did not know three shit about what went on. Um, it started like this and it turned into something completely different. So if I tell person, if I lie the person, and this was the case, because I remember that American staff members were upset about this stuff. If I like the person, a staff member that we are helping this individual, if I'm lying to the person like this for like several years, as the case was from 98, all the way to actually even before that, all the way to, I don't know what year was it? I had no idea when it was a different agenda they came up with uh, basically when they stroke the deal with the Russians uh, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna with the Putin I should say with the Russians whatever Russians should not have a scumbag like this as a president it's a shame for the Russia uh, and we the rest of the world should not tolerate Russians as such there is no is no need to tolerate this kind of stuff uh, they have to clean their house, they have to clean their mess to be accepted as you accept people normally. Otherwise, you just have to see in them Putin, basically. Unless, of course, they oppose, unless, of course, they protest. There are those that do. Uh, but those that do not, those that don't see the problem, they should be seen in a such a light. And so, and so, when they stroke the deal, it was a different song. It was the song turn around, it changed, and it was time to destroy me, basically. All through, they have exit points all along through MKR Trail. Always ended with a German agent, Russian agent. German agent, Russian agent. Russian agent was Justinka. She was the enemy of the Poland all the time. She was a Russian agent. I was a German agent. Guess what? I was a German agent and she was a Russian agent. The angel was, however, Kaczynski. You know, the one that blew the plane over there uh, at Smolensk in 2010. A plane that was just full of German agents. And the one that would like to make Poland snow white. That would look like more like the neighbor like a germany so it wouldn't be the difference when you go from one country to another let's basically wipe this presence of jewish dna from poland like hitler wanted to do but of course german agent russian agent um where exactly left me this shit last night with was that i stopped uh, at a gas station where an individual would come and gesture me and it was the same gas station that was used on the MK Ultra and it was the same gentleman who came that was used on the MK Ultra by coincidence the people at the gas station the staff I have recognized them turned the telephone and the gentleman would come and he already knew, I have all recorded, he already knew exactly the best spot for my car, where I should just leave one, I take a bus or train and return here to Zgersh 
and then uh, think about what to do with the car because according to him it was a whole transmission it's the whole think everything is destroyed now I'm not saying that it's not because I have not inspected uh, this thing myself it was a night time he was the one inspecting the vehicle or well, the point here is that if we go further only beyond the catalysator catalytic converter which is according to the law illegal to remove from the vehicle in this case removed just prior to the sale uh, or prior to the sale by an individual who sold me the car who was involved in MK Ultra through the address which he posted online that concerned a Belarusian individual by the name Sergey whom I have supposedly insulted and I really did and that was maybe the worst thing because he did not even have to say anything and I would just insult him based on him being Belarus or whatever uh, this is just the way uh, the final MK Ultra moments played in a such a way that I would insult left and right, whatever I would come across, I think. Whoever would get, the more I went to the end, the more unwilling was to go any further with this. You know, individual actually demonstrating quite a few things. Um, he committed quite a few things. I'm not going to even say that everything in a negative sense he might have done it actually this stuff to actually even protect me I have no idea but according to MK Ultra Americans did have a full control of this case of this vehicle I know so because I was yesterday I was gonna go get this catalytic converter and I reminded myself of the particular situation in particular part of the town that concerns junkyard where you could actually get this kind of catalytic converter uh, and the road closure about maybe i have no idea 500 meters before the business kilo, kilometer thousand meters before the business stopped me from going there gesture me the tour that would be more than i don't know 10 kilometers that you would go through the road that probably you would end up with even more repairs than what catalytic converter costs itself and stuff like that i mean completely insane stuff and no sign nothing whatsoever that would gestured a local traffic possibility of local traffic and someone telling me that this was just because it's a holiday day of the dead october the 31st and stuff like and so on and so on and so forth um the timing is done with a precision whether you like it or not to the point just as this gas issue here um it's really not difficult to know how much is in the bottle uh and exercise the option that would suggest exactly exactly the same kind of outcome as the case was with an individual this American psychologist, this criminal that would familiarize himself with environment, with the circumstances of the people, demonstrate good things about the place first. So he would get you inside. So your memory would not catch all the worst stuff that later on happened. All this, everything was beautiful first. So you would move inside. And then what follow up was like a total, total abuse. And it was the same like this in Dembroska. It was the same on Lochka. It was the same on this place. Um, I'm not going to even say anything. Where I'm going is supposed to be my last location after this one. There was another location they had me. That one was along the Lochka, that one I avoided, uh, 